everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make um, buffalo chicken taquitos, which is something uh, I like to throw together with leftovers or whatever is left in my fridge. Um, so I have, again, everything measured out ahead of time so that it's easy to put together. Um, we have about three cups of shredded chicken. So here you can use leftover chicken from dinner, um, or if you have a rotisserie chicken or leftover roasted chicken and take the meat out or you can take um, any chicken and cook it and shred it a little bit. This one I just shredded now. Uh, if you want a recipe or a technique about how to make good shredded chicken for tacos or any of that, um, I'm happy to send it across. Um, we have one cup of cheddar cheese here. These are going to be cheesy taquitos. This is not authentic to any culture, maybe besides American culture. So we want to definitely have good cheddar cheese. But if you have other cheese in the fridge, any cheese will work here. You should definitely use, again, whatever you have. Um, we have four ounces of cream cheese. And I say four ounces instead of cups because I just cut an eight ounce package in half and put it in here. And then about half a cup of wing sauce. Um, so I use Frank's Red Hot, which I think is the best. And I would encourage you to use that. But if you have something else you like to put on wings, you know, this could even be a barbecue situation if you um, prefer that for your chicken wings. Um, I like Frank's Red Hot because it's vinegary and spicy. Um, so it's about half a cup of that. And then a quarter cup of ranch dressing. I like ranch with my buffalo chicken wings. I know there's a ranch blue cheese debate. You could also use a blue cheese dressing or anything just to add a little sauciness um, to that. And then I have some corn tortillas to start. My oven is preheating, so that's already going at 425. Um, and then we have everything we need to work with. So the first thing I'm gonna do because these are corn tortillas instead of flour tortillas. Uh, if I try to roll them up in a taquito right away, they're going to rip. So I'm going to take this clean paper towel and get it a little damp and try to steam them up a little bit so they're more pliable. Um, by pliable, I mean soft, easy to use, won't rip when I try to make a little rolled up taquito friends. If you use flour tortillas, you're not really going to need to do this. They are already pliable and ready to go. So I'm going to pop these into the microwave. minutes. Uh, oh my gosh, no, 30 seconds. Do not put them in the microwave for 30 minutes. Um, and then they're going to steam up a little bit and I'm going to let them rest and stay in that moist kind of packet while I make everything else. So the first thing, or the second thing I guess I'm going to do is combine our wing sauce. I love buffalo sauce, by the way. I'm even going to put this baking dish on top of it like that, let it steam and stay hot. So we have, again, I'm making a mess, um, buffalo sauce in here, and I'm going to mix that with this cream cheese. and the ranch dressing. So all the saucy goodness, and I wouldn't use cold cream cheese from the fridge. If you take it right out of the fridge, I would recommend you microwave it or um, heat it up just for a little bit because it's gonna be hard to mix. Even this one's probably a little cold. I'm gonna have to use some muscle to mix it up. So I'll try to do that so you can see. Do, do, do. 
the skin sauces together. We want it to be one homogeneous mixture. This is something you can also do and make a dip out of if you've ever had buffalo chicken dip, which is delightful. This is sort of the same exact thing and it will make you very popular with your friends if you bring them buffalo chicken dip. Of course, unless they're vegetarians, then they won't be so popular. I'm trying to get this as smooth as possible so there aren't little surprise cream cheese lumps. Although when we bake them in the oven, it'll smooth out anyway. All right. So your sauce is going to look like this. You can see that there. And then to that, we add our chicken. And our cheddar cheese to make things extra cheesy which I feel like is good for a snack. And we're gonna bake these instead of fry them because frying is messy and can be stressful. And this easy, you just pop it into the oven and it comes out delicious. So we're mixing these sauces together. The chicken. Da -da -da. Easy peasy. So that it looks like this. And that's all you need to get the filling ready. You should taste it and see if you like it. Yum. Now we're going to roll up our taquitos. I'm going to add a little pepper because. I love black pepper on everything. Keep that there. Mix it up. Just a little extra kick. You should definitely taste it and make sure it's spicy enough for you. Alright, and then we have our nice pliable tortillas. Of course, if one of them breaks while you're doing this, don't get stressed out. Never should feel stressed out while making something fun like taquitos. So take one of your spoons, I would put about heaping. You're gonna wanna overfill these, but that'll make it harder to roll. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to just take this over, roll it back a little bit so it's tight, and roll it like this, and leave it on your baking tray with the fold side down so it stays. Now I'm touching this and I think, you know what, next one I'm going to put a little more filling in, it seems a little empty. So, you should always check how things are going. I also use parchment paper here. You can use tin foil. You can also just spray some cooking spray or butter or whatever you have so that it doesn't stick to the pan. I like parchment paper because it's easier to clean. So I'm going to keep it a little fuller than before, like that. I think that looks pretty happy. Then, I have my little friend. Melvin here, if I need to 
use a toothpick to kind of plug him in. But so far, they seem to be okay. So now I've rolled up my taquitos. I have 10. That's how many um, that this size of corn tortilla is made with our, our fixins. Because I want them to be extra crispy, I'm gonna pour some olive oil. And I'm gonna use the olive oil to brush on top so that they get nice and golden brown. If you don't have a little brush like this, you should just use a spoon. If you don't have olive oil, you should use whatever oil you want. You could even melt butter if that's, oh no. We're gonna take him, fold him back under. Take this Pew. and leave them there. <laughs> Give them a nice olive oil or again, whatever oil you have. Bath. You want them to be shiny. Finishing touch is just to sprinkle a little bit of salt on top. Not too much, just a little sprinkle. Keep hitting the video camera. Whoops. Just like that. So now I'm going to put these in the oven. Um, 425 for about 15 minutes, but it's more important for you to look at them and see if they're brown and crispy. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop them in the oven now. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna check on our taquitos and take them out. They look crispy. I just gave them a little cut, some of them. Maybe I overfilled a little zealously. Always be careful. We'll turn the oven off. Turn the light off. Have a trivet here, so I'm going to put them on. And they are looking pretty good if you can see them. We had one friend burst open, but that's okay. I'm going to let them cool before I plate them to enjoy them. So if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you enjoy um, this lovely little lunch or snack in the Buffalo Taquitos.